What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, I got a new 24mm atomizer for you. I'm talking about the Vandy Vape Paradox. Rocking it on top of my brand new Famo Vape Magma Box review coming real soon. This is a single coil deck. Has some huge deck screws. Three drip tips included, and it's side airflow. The big question is, how does it compare to some of the best single coil RDAs on the market right now? Make sure you watch the whole video to find out what we think. Let's open it up and see what we got. Slide the sleeve off. Here is the Paradox RDA, that big, huge drip tip. We're going to put that on deck for a second. You also get these two drip tips, right? This is a really nice 510 drip tip. I love that little curve in the middle. This is the drip tip I've been running most of the time. We'll put that to the side. You also get this Ultim drip tip, which is the same size as the black one that comes pre-installed. We'll put that to the side. Pull the foam insert out. Inside the box, you get a 510 drip tip adapter. You get this nice fused Clapton here, NI80. All right. Got some wattage recommendations, four wraps, three millimeter ID. There it is right there. Nice looking Clapton right there. Hex key, blue flathead screwdriver, squonking pin, some spare deck screws, and some spare O-rings. You also get a Vandy Vape Paradox user's manual. Let's get into the RDA. All right, starting on top, we got this, like, I don't know, I guess a docks kind of style drip tip. Really, really wide bore. Really not my thing. Very snug fit on the drip tip. Goon style drip tip. All your other drip tips will fit fine. Like I said, I've been using the 510 drip tip adapter, and I've been running this drip tip instead. I think you get more flavor that way, and I just think it looks better in general. I like these drip tips with a little curve in the middle, so I've been digging that. On the barrel, you got these deep cuts that help you get a grip when you're adjusting the airflow. That's how your airflow adjusts. Basically, how this airflow works is you got these two little slots right here that are kind of going around the post. I'll show you it when I, when I open it up. And you can close off one at a time like that, right? Now you only got one side open. And, of course, whatever you do on one side happens on the other side. There's your Paradox emblem right there. Okay, it does have a locking barrel. It only goes so far. So that's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Pull the barrel off. Inside, you're going to notice we got a really nice conical design. There are your cutouts for the airflow right there. Okay, really nice job on the barrel. It's not super thick, but it's of nice quality. It feels substantial. They did a nice job on the machining, as Vandy Vape always does. Here is your deck section. Look at those big, beefy screws. I mean, flat wire builds just do fantastic in here. Look how big those screws are, man. Nice job. Gold-plated screws. Simple deck. We've all seen this deck before. They've just used oversized screws with it. You lay your lead in there, right? And then you just screw it down and you cut it right over here. Make sure you don't leave any so it'll short out on your barrel. The other thing I like that they did is they got these little notches here, right? And that's so when you put your coiling rod in there, you can get your coil perfectly centered and exactly where it has to be. Nice job on that. See the raised squonking pin? Nice raised squonking pin. Nice deep juice well. Okay. They did a nice job on this. Whoever this guy is, this FXRB, whatever he is, he did a nice job on this and really thought this deck out well. You got two O-rings here that have a really nice tolerance. And look at the way that airflow works, right? You see in the way that airflow works now? Your airflow is going in through here, right? through the block, and then hitting your coil right there. See that right there? That's your airflow right there. Nice job on that, man. Different the way they split it. I kind of like it. It's very smooth. The airflow on it is actually smooth. You got a little base over here. A lot of atomizers have been getting away from that. I like that. Nice job on that. You can see the little notch right there. That's for your locking barrel system right there. Good job on that. On the bottom of the atomizer, it says Paradox, all right? You got a serial number, gold-plated squonking pin, gold-plated negative post, Phillips head negative post, 
manufactured by Vandy Vape FX RB over there. All right, I think he's some type of Russian coil builder. If I if I read it correctly, all right. Nice, nice, simple deck. Really, really easy to build and wick. You can see I got the coil in there. 0.17. We'll give it a quick dry burn. I'm not going to build it because it's just so simple to build. No use in going over that. All right. Now the coil is nice and cleaned up. Right. We're going to wick it up. Wicking material we're going to be using today is Native Wicks Platinum Blend. Grab yourself a nice piece of Platinum Blend. Give it a nice little twirl between your fingers. Get it nice and pointy and just send it right through. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Nice and easy. You got some nice tension there, right? Now what you want to do, you want to take your vape shears, best scissors in vaping, shout out to them. And what you want to do is you want to cut it right around that second O-ring right there. Same thing on the other side. Measure it up against that second O-ring and cut it right there. All right. And now... In order to wick it, very, very simple. Just take your cotton tool, give it a little fold, tuck, get it right in there so it's just touching the bottom of that juice well. Same thing on the other side. Give it a little tuck. Try not to disturb that cotton. And there you go. Just like that. Juice we're going to be using today is Vape Wild's Surf Cake, formerly known as Smurf Cake. Basically like a blueberry muffin. You can see I'm almost out. I'm going to need some more. What you want to do, just get that coil started. Paint that coil up a little bit. Dump some juice in that juice well. And just get it nice and started. Give it a little test fire. And we got vape. Take your top cap. Line up your airflow. Pop it back on. And that's what it should look like fully assembled. Let's get into it. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con on this one is going to be, it's a little bit easy to over squonk on. Not for an experienced squonker, but for people who are just getting into it, it might be a little too easy to over squonk on. I got to point it out. After squonking, sometimes there's a little bit of spit back, so I got to point that out as well. The color selection is definitely a con. It's only available in stainless steel and black. What's up with that, Vandy Vape? Let's get into it. Let's get into the pros because this is a good RDA and there are definitely some pros to it. First pro is going to be, I get really nice flavor. We got to give them a pro for that. Build quality on this RDA is really nice. I'm giving them a pro for that as well. It's easy to build and wick. That's always a pro on this channel. It performs well as a squonker if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to give them a pro for that too. Three drip tips included. I wish every company would do that. That's a pro. 510 drip tip adapter is included, giving you even more drip tip choices. I like that. That's a pro. This deck is great for a newbie. If you're new to building or you've been intimidated by building in the past, go out and get yourself a Paradox. This one's easy to build and wick. I like it for the newbies. This one's got some smooth airflow that is semi-restrictive. You semi-restrictive vapors are going to love it. Nice O-ring tolerance. Check it out, man. Doesn't matter. I put heavier mods on this. They don't fall off. Great job on that, Vandy Vape. Pro. Locking barrel system. I like it. Pro. This one's a flavor chasing RDA. We're going to give it a pro for that as well. So let's talk about this one a little bit, all right? You heard my pros and cons. It's got some super smooth airflow. I really like that. It's got an awesome conical design inside. That's definitely contributing to the awesome flavor that I'm experiencing. The juice well is nice and deep. Overall, I've just been really enjoying this RDA. But deuces, how does it compare to the other single coilers on the market today? Honestly, I got to say, I wish I got this one before I did my best of, especially the single coil category it probably would have cracked the top five. That's how much I actually like the Paradox by Vandy Vape. Make sure you check out our link down below. Make sure you click the thumbnails on the screen. Check out some of our other videos. And that's it, folks. That's all we got today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.